Wonderlog tutorial. Hello and welcome to our channel. On this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Wonderlog. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. And to create an account on Wonderlog, you can also use my affiliate link below the description where earn a small commission at no additional cost to you. And by using the link, you may also get some discount or rewards upon sign up. But before that, if you don't know what is Wonderlog, it is a powerful travel planning app that simplifies the process of organizing trips in which it offers a comprehensive set of features to help users create detailed itineraries, manage reservations, and explore destinations, in which the app's main section includes overview itinerary and explore. And one of the Wonderlog's standout features is its ability to praise listicles from travel blogs and websites, automatically mapping out the recommended places on a user's trip plan. And this saves time and effort compared to manually copying and pasting information from various sources. And also, the application also offers a visual map view that color codes and icons different types of places, making it easier to visualize the itinerary and plan efficient routes. And now, to start using this platform, you could also click the sign up button on the top right corner. And upon clicking on it, it will show you on this pop up window that you can sign up using your Facebook, Google, or even email address in here. But in those options, I'm going to sign up using my Google account. So, going to click on it, and after signing in, you will be directed on this page in which this is basically what the dashboard looks like of Wonderlog. And below here, it will show you other details, including the Explore and other popular destinations in here. And now to start, all you need to do is to click this Plan New Trip button in order to start planning about your trip. By simply clicking on it, we'll be able to be directed on this page. Then from here, just enter the places or the location that you want to go to. So for instance, I'm going to enter here, Vietnam. Then below it will show you different kind of city in Vietnam, and I'm going to choose this Hanoi, Vietnam. After that, below here, you could also enter the start date that you want for your trip, and also the end date. After filling out the dates, by simply selecting on this calendar right here, and as you can see, I just enter here a one-week trip. Then below here, you could also invite a trip mates if you want to, such as your friends or family, where you can simply enter here their email address. And you can choose either friends, public, or private. And after that, just proceed by clicking the Start Planning button right here. And now, if you don't want to invite other friends, just click Maybe Later. Upon clicking on it, we will now be able to be directed on this page right here. So as you can see, we have now the overview of our trip to Hanoi. And on this pop-up window, it will show you the step-by-step -step process, such as to add your reservations, itinerary, list of visits, and many more. So just proceed by clicking Next Tip right here, and click Got It. And from here, it will show you on the left side panel some of the options that you can start navigating. We have here Overview, Explore, Notes, and many more. And under this Overview, it will show you all of the details in your trip plan, in which its main purpose is to provide a high-level view of essential components, making it easy for users to quickly access and manage their reservations, budgets, and overall itinerary. And as you can see from here, you could also add here Notes if you want to. And from here, under Overview, users can input or import their flight, lodging, and rental car reservations, which can be automatically added by forwarding confirmation emails or manually entered. So for instance, we're looking for a place to visit by simply clicking in here. Let's say I'm going to enter a place, which is restaurants. And by clicking on the result, it will show you on the right side panel the recommended restaurants on a Google map, wherein you can simply see the places, the rating, and also the exact location of it. So you can simply add it to your place to visit. Now moving on, aside from that, below here, under itinerary, from here we can simply add places to our itinerary by dragging and dropping them into the desired day, allowing for easy rearrangement and customization. So from here, we can simply add our schedule for each day that we're in that specific country. Now moving on, under budgeting, from here you could simply add an expenses or to set your budget by clicking add expense. From here on this pop-up window, you could also choose a specific kind of currency that you prefer. And as you can see, I'm just choosing a US dollar as currency. So for instance, our expenses for this time is 10,000 US dollar. And after selecting or entering the amount, just click select item. Then from here, you can simply select the category for that expenses. We have here flights, lodging, car rental, transit, food, drinks, and many more. But if you also want to change the exact amount of the expenses, from here, you can simply click on it again and just change the amount of it. For instance, $100. And for the select item, let's say I'm going to enter here or select the category 
of this car rental. And after that below here, you could also add a description that you prefer. And aside from that, from here, you could also split the bill or the expenses if you are not alone in the trip and even add a specific date on it. And by clicking the save button, we'll now be able to save the expenses. So now if we go back in our budgeting section from here, it will show you that has been set budget for expenses, which is car rental amounting to 100 US dollar. Now let's try to add another places to visit. I'm gonna go to our places to visit section and from here, just enter the places. For example, I'm going to enter here, museum. Upon clicking museum on this result, it will show us on the right side panel on the Google map, the recommended museum, which is this Vietnam military history. And as you can see here, before you add a trip, you could also click this top down arrow right here to select the date that you want to visit these places. So basically this level of detail and control enables users to create a well-organized and realistic itinerary and other places to visit that can be easily shared with others. So as you can see, you can simply enter here all of the details for your trip, starting to the places to visit, itinerary, to your budgets, and many more. And aside from some of the option that you can start navigating on the left side panel, you could also navigate on the top panel. These three dots, by simply clicking on it, it will show you these trip settings, expect travel tips, FAQ, view only mode, and you could also print this trip if you want to. And also if you want to access this application or website to your mobile phone, just click this get tap button right here to do that. In which all you need to do is to simply enter here your mobile number, then you will now be able to send the uplink. And now moving on aside from manually entering all of the details for your trip, you could also use this AI assistant that offer one wonder lag on the left side panel by clicking this AI assistant. This option is designed to simplify the trip planning process by providing users with personalized recommendations and information. So as you can see from here, you could ask best places to eat in Hanoi and it will show you in here all of the places which is top 5 places in here. And by clicking on it, it will show you on the right side panel which is the Google map the exact location of that best places. For example, this Buncha, Wong Lian, by clicking this add the trip on the right side panel, it will be automatically added to our places to visit. And now for the second list, by clicking on it, we could also add this to our trip. And for the image, we could also click on it in order to view what that place is to offer. As you can see, it shows us the places, the food, since that place is a restaurant, and it will show us in here the exact location in that country or city. So basically, this feature is particularly useful for users who are still deciding on their itinerary or want to add more variety on their trip. And by leveraging the collective knowledge and experience of the Wonderlog community, users can create more comprehensive and enjoyable travel plan. So overall, that is just basically how you can use Wonderlog. Thank you.